Thanks, Jing. Now let's have Pia Bonalo. She's at the Wine Museum Hotel and Restaurant in Pasay City. Hi, Pia. Emeline, this morning we will be learning all about the wines. I am here at the Wine Museum with owner Bobby Lem Joseph to tell us all about it. Good morning, sir. Morning, morning, Pia. Can you tell us what the Wine Museum is all about? Well, this is a four and a half year old organization. It's a foundation. And the trust, our trust, is to turn this into a training center, not only on uh, wine education, but also on protocol and social graces, mm -hmm. convention and events, and other, other skills that the tourism and the hospitality industry so badly needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are also here as uh, tying up with schools and universities as a pilot uh, training center for the hospitality industry and we have eight av available rooms mm -hmm. though we are an, um, a small hotel and inn but all of the standards that we have especially for the beddings are all six stars oh, wow and then how do you actually go about educating people about the wine well we offer a training program a basic training program that is a little bit advanced mm -hmm. Why advance? Because it has the wine education component, it has the demonstration, and at the same time we have the pairing, the food and wine pairing. So we offer a seven-course sit-down meal with seven glasses of wine, seven different kinds of wines that they will now that will complement the basic education on wine. How is wine best appreciated? Because a lot of people they buy a bottle of wine and just pop it and then they just start drinking it without really appreciating all the flavors that are in it. Can you give us a little basic tip on how you, wine is best appreciated? Well, the first thing we do is ask our customer, mm -hmm. uh, what wine do you want? Do you want it sweet, semi-sweet? Do you want it light? Do you want it medium? you like it heavy? you want it full-bodied? Mm -hmm. So do you want white? Do you want red? Do you want a rosé? Right? Mm -hmm. So it's between, in between. So with this, they would tell us, uh, some of them, especially the ones who are just newly initiated people who just want to discover wines, mm -hmm. we offer them first sweet wines because it's much palatable, it's easier for them. So only to them that they'll start being interested. Because uh, once you start giving them an example, a wine mm -hmm. that is um, oaky, that is dry, and is high in alcohol, that might be, a, or most likely, it will be a turn-off. Mm -hmm. So that's how. If I am, for example, walking into a grocery and I want to buy myself a bottle of wine, how would I actually know without um, advice from people like you who know their wine, how would I actually know what kind of wine would suit me best? I think the best thing is to find out what do you like. Mm -hmm. What is your preference? Do you like it sweet or semi-sweet? Uh -huh. So if that's what you like, when you go to the supermarket or to any store, let's say to Ralph's Wines and Spirits, you ask them, can you please show me something that is very sweet, that's very light, and has less alcohol? Okay. Um, if you get this wine bottle, for example, I noticed uh, you pointed it out to me a while ago, sir, that there's actually a little bit of story that is written here um, in the back. And it also shows us the year. How important is the year the wine was made? Yeah, this, uh, the year uh, that's written here is the year that the wine, the grapes were harvested. Okay. okay? Not necessarily the year that it was bottled. Okay. Okay? And it goes through a process. But and also it says here from Chile with pride. This is one of the best uh, wines that Chile has ever uh, produced, which is the Montes, which is very, very popular. But since, you know, I have a little problem on my eyesight, <laughs> perhaps you could read what's written on the back label. Well, here it says that it, is, it has a marked fruitiness and it's irresistible to Merlot lovers with black pepper and soft on the palate. And it was aged in French oak. Okay, great. But also you have to consider here, what is the alcohol? And it says here 14%. So you know that this is um, kind of a dry wine with 14% alcohol. Now, if you were just uh, a new one, just looking at the situation and finding out what kind of drink would I like, 
And if you want something that is sweet or semi-sweet, that is light, therefore, this Montez is not for you. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I know a lot of people would be curious and to want to know more about wines. Please do invite everyone to go here to Wine Museum and know more about wines. Uh, friends, please, partners in growth, Please uh, come over at 2253 Tramo Road. This is the first wine museum in the country. And we have great food, very, very good food at, uh, at really reasonable prices. And beside us is Ralph's Wines and Spirits. You can just come in. You can get the wines there or we can recommend some. Bring it here. There won't be any corkage. This is a very relaxed atmosphere. You can come up with your trainings. We, on the second floor, we have our museum, our training center, and we have also eight rooms available. And the, it starts at 1,700 pesos on twin sharing, overnight stay. Please come and find out. That, or just check us out. Uh, all just, you have to do only is just Google and look for the wine museum. Okay, thank you very much, Sir Bobby. For those of you who want to experience wine the way it should be, please do visit here, Wine Museum. Jeng Amelin. Thanks, Pia.